Today, I am gonna be trading the brand new Adopt Me trading stand using the trading stands. And if you would like a chance to win your very own trade stand in Adopt Me, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. Okay, so here we are in the second week of Adopt Me's Easter event. We have the brand new classic trade stand as well as a new snail. Now, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on these classic trade stands. I need to go ahead and buy a few of them because obviously we're trading them today. But before we go and trade them, let's just place one inside my house. It's set to friends. Okay, so you can set it. Does it reflect like what you have your trades on? That's what I think. You can trade anything in your inventory. I could put a pet. I could put an item. So why not put the trade stand itself? That's what it's going to look like. So people are going to be able to come up to my trade stand and offer for the thing that I'm trading. Before we get started, I am going to turn the joins on for the followers. And do I even have to say that I'm in a cake army trading server at this point? I think everybody, okay, I thought everybody was gonna be at the Easter event, but it looks like they're not. How did somebody send me a trade request? Okay, I don't like that my trades are on already, but I think, okay, so not quite yet, but everybody will be in the neon cave. So I don't like that my trades have to be on in order for my trading stand to be on, and it looks like people are already setting them up in the trade hub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my, look, somebody else is doing it too. They're trading. Yeah, so see, this is already a flaw in the plan that I have to have have my trades on in order to set this so we're just gonna select an item to trade a classic trade stand and i need to go hide somewhere okay so currently yes this is the first trade that we got so my item is already in there i don't know if i can add or remove anything but here is our very first offer for the trade stand so it is 95 robux i don't know if you guys saw that in the beginning and this is our first offer for it it's just it's not stuff that i truly want i don't think 95 robux is a lot of robux but i would like something different so we're gonna decline this first one so since i don't see anybody around me i have to assume that yes all the trades that i'm getting are trades from the trade stand so you could be anywhere around the map you could be raising your pet and you could just be getting trade offers now i have my opinions about this Ooh, okay there's no way we're getting offered all of this stuff for one classic trade stand they put four of the brand new candy cane snails a fossil egg an ancient dragon and a red panda they hit accept so i'll hit accept I actually really like this offer, but okay, so two downsides I already see is the fact that I have to have my normal trades on in order for my trade stand to allow people to use it, which I think that's an error. And then the fact that once I hit confirm on this, I'm gonna go have to put a new item in my trade stand. So let's hit confirm and we just traded our first one. What did you guys think of that trade? Okay, so this is what's already happening is people are coming to my trade stand, but I don't even have an item up yet. So they're just sending me trade requests. Yeah, so this is unfortunate that each time I'm gonna have to come back to my trade stand and I'm gonna have to put another item. Okay, so here's the next offer we got. That is a huge overpay. This is 300 Robux and that is 95. They said this. I mean, if they hit accept, I'll do that trade. They did hit accept. I mean, I do think that this is a win because this is only 95 Robux, but maybe they got this in a trade and they don't really care about the Robux value. Okay, second trade went through, but again, I'm still receiving trade requests, but I don't even have the trade stand in the menu. I mean, I guess I could add it, but that kind of defeats the purpose because now people can just spam trade me even though I'm trying to hide in my house. I don't think I want to do this offer and I gotta go put this item back up. Okay, it is getting very hard to like run around and hide. Ooh, a legendary pirate hermit crab. I wonder... Okay, I do have a few of those, so I don't necessarily think I need them. I don't think I would do it for just that. It's been a while since I've done kind of like a classic trading video where I'm just taking offers for stuff and this trade stand, I mean, I think that there's definitely a lot of ways that this could be improved. Oh my gosh, not another mega ant. I have so many mega ants. I might have traded one away recently. I already have three mega ants. I don't think I need a fourth. The fact that they hit accept, I think, is crazy. Am I about to own four mega ants? I thought I was the mother of bat dragons, not the mother of ants. I guess I'm the mother of ants. Don't call me that, but that's another trade done. I mean, we recently just got four of these candy cane snails and a bunch of ads for one of these trade stands, so I definitely don't think I'm just gonna take one. I wanna like these so bad. I really do, but I don't think I'm gonna do it for this offer either. We have seen a few good offers, but I'm not interested in this one. The Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, I didn't mean to remove it. I am so sorry. Force of Habit. This trade has a lot of stuff in it, I'm not gonna lie. You know, we got the Wyvern, the Hydra, some Mythic Pets, even a cute little bat, but none of this stuff is stuff that I really need. As you guys know, I'm trying to get Neons and stuff, so I think we're gonna pass. Okay, we have Charlie, my dog. Uh-oh, somebody's flying around the map. They're gonna find me. I need to 
to run and hide. Where can I hide? I don't even know where I'm hiding right now. I'm kind of like behind the petware shop or something. A neon ride albino bat is a really good offer, actually. He said, what do you think? I said, I think that's a great offer. The only reason that I would like to have this is, yes, I would like to give it to Fishy, but really, I'm gonna be trading for neon ultra rares soon, so it's good for me to have extra neon ultra rares. Thank you, Charlie, my dog. Okay, not a trading stand trade, but they said they wanted a trade history trade. Adopt me no longer shows the role play name of pets. I don't know why it doesn't. They say this pet has a name on it, but it's not showing. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. That is a very hard sentence to say. Trading the classic trade stand. Another person offering just one candy cane snail. Can't do it for that. We got offered four. I don't know if you guys are noticing kind of a pattern with this. It's very chaotic. It's very hard to do. Obviously, when I trade the item in my stand, it says the stand has been cleared. The next trade I get, I will show you guys. I think the concept is cool of having a trading stand. If you guys play games like Pet Simulator X, they have like a whole trading hub, trading center, trading server where you can put up these stands and put your items and list them for a price. But as you guys know, we don't have currency trading in Adopt Me, so we can't list things for a price, but I don't know. Ooh, three legendary pets? four legendary pets. That's a crazy trade and I'm gonna hit accept. That's four legendary pets. One is a full grown ride dodo. If they truly hit confirm, I'm gonna, wow. Okay, that was my favorite trade today. Another trade where they have put a lot of items, which again, I can appreciate that, that they kind of like filled the trade square a little bit, but it's just not stuff I'm looking for. Maybe if there was like a diamond mahi mahi or something, but there's not. Oh, I think this trade's not bad. Two legendary things. One is the new legendary striped eggy. I'll do it for that. Again, just 95 Robux, not too crazy. And I'm sure more people want to own these trade stands, so I'm happy to do this trade. I think that was a win. As I'm jumping and flying all around the map, somebody offered a volcanic rhino, and I don't know if these really held any value too much. I mean, I think that they were very easy to get, especially because they made it kind of pay to win, you know, with like those Alaska burnt baits or whatever they were called. I don't know if I would do it for just this. What do you guys think? I like the idea of getting multiple legendaries for something. I wish you guys could like live react to me and like tell me if I should do this trade. Some people, well, one person is reacting a lot to it. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just hit accept. We are in the next trade window, but I gotta tell you guys how I think that this trading stand could be improved. Let me just kind of clear out the ones I have for trade at the moment. Oh, there's no way. A fly ride zombie buffalo. Lucy Tilly said, I love you so much. Is she really gonna trade me a zombie buffalo for this trade stand? You gave this to me a while. Well, well, if I gave it to you, then I don't want to take it back. I was excited, but I'm not trying to take something back that I gave to somebody. That is no fun. That's like taking back a gift. I would never take back a gift from somebody. Okay, a fleur de ice. I mean, it is just one pet. Okay, a neon poodle. I don't really need the neon uncommons anymore. I don't think it's a bad offer either, though. I'll just hit accept. I really want to get into talking to you guys what I think about these trade stands, and then we'll trade a few more. Let's hit confirm on this. Thank you so much, Lucy Tilly. Okay, there is absolutely no no shot that this is a real trade. Four legendary pets and arguably four good legendary pets. A dodo, a peacock, a diamond mahi mahi, and a ride cryo sphinx. And they had accept. There is somebody who has been chasing me all around the map and I really don't like that. I'm just running around looking for the eggs while I'm simultaneously trading. Oh my gosh, they hit confirm. That is my favorite trade so far. Okay, I escaped to my house for just a second because I sold all of my trading stands. I literally don't have any more of them, just my trade license. And the server is closing for an update. Perfect timing. Okay, I acquired a few more classic trade stands, and now that the server reset, I'm gonna talk about it. So as I already said, I don't like that in my settings, I have to have my trade set to everyone, because it's like, obviously, if I have a stand up, I want to take trades from people. It'd be nice if I could have my trades, you know, when people click on me as a person, set to just friends or no one, but that everyone could still offer on my trade stand. What I also don't like is that when there's no item placed here, people can still send me trade requests, even when I don't have anything listed. In. But for me, the main issue is just how it works. I don't like to just get spammed with trade requests while I'm trying to play the game. I'd rather just stand in place in a trade server and accept trades that way. What would be way cooler is if I have an item listed on my trade stand and then people come up, they submit an offer, they put an offer in, they submit it, they hit accept, they say, if birthday cake accepts, then this is the offer that I give. And then after a little while, I could come over to this trade stand and see maybe like a list of offers kind of like how it looks in the trade history, but just imagine like I could actually just see like a list of offers 
and then choose, you know, like which one I want to accept. And then you just hit accept on the one you like the most. I feel like that would be way better. Looks like everybody in this server is in the middle. So I'm just going to put my trade stand thingy here. It's kind of cool. Somebody else is trading a trade stand. Somebody else is trading a frost dragon. So like, it's kind of just cool to like go around and see what people have. Pretty sure I traded this person in the last server, but I'll just hit accept again. They say they want to trade history trade, but I'm pretty sure I traded somebody named Olivia Rodrigo before. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'll hit confirm and thank you for the sandwich. I do like the eggnog dog, even though it's really not that special. It's just an uncommon. I'm not going to do this trade for just, you know, a few uncommon or rare things. All right, this offer has potential. We got a cactus friend, a hot dog stand, a lemonade stand. I have plenty of those, but whatever. I do like the cactus friend and okay a neon black moon bear a happy duckling ride i don't hate this offer so i think i'll do it i did just buy like eight more of these trade stands so i don't think that this is a bad offer at all oh i just hate that i'm gonna have to go down there and i'm gonna have to put another trade stand in the window i am invisible but i know people could easily like find me or see me okay gotta quickly select the item and then i'm kind of just creeping on everybody watching from the roof but i feel like they're gonna find me up here there is no way that this is a real offer and and I just think that's so crazy that I'm not gonna accept it. I just, you know, it's one thing to accept like one gold penguin or like four separate penguins, but a neon golden penguin, that's just way too much. I can already tell by the direction that this trade is going that I'm not gonna wanna do it. It's just not items that I particularly want. I mean, at least for the most part, I am getting traded for the trade stand. It's just, you know, sometimes people trade me and they're still just doing it so they could like chat in the little chat bubble. The only thing I really like here is the magma snail but I'm not gonna do it for just a magma snail. I'm sorry, I'm gonna decline. This person hit accept, even though I told them the chocolate chip bad dragon was like too much. I don't know if they're changing it for something different. I don't know, it's one thing to accept like multiple legendaries that aren't that high tier, but then like something that I know is desired, like a chocolate chip bad dragon, I just don't think I can take that for this. This isn't enough Robux and it's not limited or anything. So we're gonna pass, even though of course I would like a chocolate chip bat dragon. Okay, I think that this offer is decent. This is what I'm talking about. It's like two legendaries, but they're not as crazy as like that chocolate chip bad dragon trade. I'll just hit accept and see what they do. Okay, they hit confirm. I'll hit confirm. And we got two more legendaries. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is getting a little crazy. This is also an overpay for the stand. They said this, girl, you're way over. See, you guys are too nice sometimes. I'm like, I'll just take one of these. I already feel like they're an overpay. A werewolf? Like, I don't even have many werewolves. I feel like I gotta give this girl like two trade stands or something and even then I don't know maybe she can make some profit with the second trade stand I really like the werewolves and I was not able to get a ton of them during the event so I'm happy I could at least secure one today oh that was a good trade I don't know if we've traded this person already but I saw that they have a slot which for some reason I know you guys really like because I usually get pretty decent offers for the slot the only items I like here are the sloth and the special lunar new year gift box so I'll see if they'll take out all this extra stuff and just keep those those two. Okay, it looks like they are removing everything. I think that this is still a pretty good trade. I think the sloth does cost Robux, and they want me to keep the egg. I'm not gonna argue it. I just want to get to the next trade, just trying to keep everything moving. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on these trade stands down below. Like, do you like them? Do you have, you know, some pros? Because right now, I don't have very many pros. And look, once the trade goes through, it says the display was cleared. So that's how I know I gotta go set up my display again. Okay, I do like the Naga dragons. I like that it has a ride potion on it. These pets look like they should be a Robux pet, but they're literally from, what, the Southeast Asia egg, I think. So I think this was a win. Oh, so I came to the other Cake Army server real quick because the last one was just getting a little crazy, but a firefly? Are those still for sale? I feel like those are a decent amount of Robux. Yeah, 500 Robux for the firefly. I will take that. I don't even know how many fireflies I have. I remember I just bought them when they first came out, and then I never thought about them again. So I will hit confirm. Thank Thank you. I don't think we've gotten a rainbow dragon at all today, so I definitely think I would take one for the trade stand. This is actually my last trade stand. I could buy more, but I think I'm gonna cut it off here. If this goes through, this will be my last trade, so let me just hit confirm.
confirm and see what happens. Oh, they hit accept. Okay, we got the rainbow dragon. Our display was cleared. Now I'm gonna become uninvisible just to talk about something with you guys. You see how it's like super chaotic in, you know, the neon cave. This is where people commonly like to trade is in here. And now it's not only crowded with people, but crowded with these stands. Yeah, let me show you guys something. This is a trade server in the game Pet Simulator 99. I don't really play this game anymore, but you see how in the trade server, it has like slots for you to put your trading stand in. You see this, you can like claim a booth and like put your booths here, kind of like the trading stands in Adopt Me. And you see how they can list them for a currency. Yeah, that's nice. It would be cool if like around the map, they had designated places for stands, you know, like just so they didn't get crowded and they were more in like a neat fashion. Same with like the neon cave because there's all of this unused space on the side. Like everybody usually crowds here in the middle where like the platforms are, but look at all this space out here on the side. Like they could totally make it. So there are like designated slots for people's trade stands all on the outside of here, just so it doesn't get like super crowded up top. Just a thought. I have a lot of opinions about this event. I have a lot of opinions about these classic trade stands, but make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think.